I know there are some of you who are sitting there going, Jeff, why are you dressed that way? Uh, or maybe you didn't know I was Jeff because I didn't put this thing up yet. Oh, there we go. Uh, I don't even know how to, okay, I'm Jeff. Uh, so Jeff, why, why are you dressed this way? Well, a lot of people said to us, how do we top the martial arts from season one in season two? So I took it on myself, because that's the kind of guy I am. Marvel is very important to me, as you know. And I went and I found the greatest trainer in the world, a guy by the name of Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> and I went to Mr. Miyagi, and he taught me wash the car. So I learned how to wash the car. And then he told me how to paint the fence. Paint the fence. And there's some people in the audience that don't understand what I'm talking about, and <laughs> someone older will explain that to you, and that's not a problem. But here's the thing you're going to see for the first time in San Diego. I have mastered the power of the Iron Fist. <laughs> Me, Jeff Loeb, not so bad. And so what I'm willing to do is I am willing to challenge any person. Yeah! Any Uh, I think you all know Jess, who plays Colleen Wing. What are uh, you wearing? I, it, it's a, I mean, I, I was training. I mean, Take it off! Why? The people want the, the people want the panel. Give it, give it to me, give it to me. But it's my, Stop it. it's my... No, I, it's, turn off the flashlight. So, think. I'm so sorry, guys. We will be right back. I have to figure out... Mr. Miyagi, Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, boy. That too. This too? That too. Okay. Give it to me. All right, sorry. I have to start the panel? Don't we start the panel now. <laughs> okay. I'm watching you. She'll be back. <laughs> That's all we had for that bit. Uh, okay, as you all know, none of this happens without uh, an awful lot of people that I have to say thank you to uh, at Marvel TV. Dan and Alan and our very own uh, Joe Casada, uh, Kareem and Margie and Tom Lieber and Devin Quinn and Mike and Raina and Tim and Sam Thomas uh, and McKinnis and Matteo and Megan uh, and uh, my pal and partner Jim Corey. Uh, over at Netflix, it's equally astonishing, the team over there uh, that starts with Ted and Cindy and Ali, uh, and in particular, Allison and Aria, who have been with us from the very beginning on this particular season. Um, the extraordinary marketing, like anything that you've seen like that incredibly, how many of you have seen the, the neon that's out there on the street there? Uh, that is that incredible group, Marcus and everybody, and then just remind me, because if I'm, maybe I am going to show you some stuff. And if I do show you some stuff, I have to remember to tell Dina to turn the crank. So if I don't, and if I go, here it is, somebody in the audience goes, you forgot to tell Dina. So uh, Dina is my partner in crime on this, and I want to thank her. And that gets me to, yes, you are going to get to see some stuff that nobody has ever seen before. You're going to learn stuff that no one ever heard before. It's because you're at San Diego Comic-Con, the greatest con in the world. Thank you so much. So uh, in order to do that, that means that those things in your hand that once upon a time were phones and are now cameras and video cameras and anything else that can actually record this event, you're not doing because uh, you're just going to ruin it for everybody else, and we don't want you to put that stuff up. But here's the worst part. We've hired guys that are trained experts, like ninjas. They're like guys that are like, rest in peace, Matt Murdock, who can see in the dark. And so they're going to be able to walk around, and they will see you recording it, and then they will take your phone and ruin your day, and you don't want that to happen, so please don't. And instead, please... Dina, turn the crank. You're going to see something nobody else has ever seen. Ladies and gentlemen, Iron Fist 2 premieres only on Netflix on September 7th.
2018. It's just coming up in, well, whenever September is. Uh, so write it down, make sure, and, and this is the part where I always, I, I ask forgiveness and apologize to all employers, large and small, corporations, small businesses, that everyone in this room is going to be sick that day. So if you have a job, make your excuse now, September 7th, you'll be home watching Iron Fist. Um, but you won't be watching Iron Fist alone because you may be with some of the people who are about to come out that I'm gonna introduce you to. And uh, as some of you know, uh, as we began our journey on the second season, we decided to bring in a brand new showrunner, a guy with a lot of ideas, a guy who was, had incredible passion uh, about this character and about martial arts in general. Uh, and uh, he is my friend and he has done a brilliant job on this second season and that is Raven Metzner. Hey, Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, you will see because we're gonna show you uh, that one of the things that was super important to us this season is that we upped the game on our fight choreography. Uh, this next gentleman who's gonna come out, you're not a, you may not know his name, but you have seen his work in such films as Creed and a little movie called The Black Panther. Uh, uh, Clayton Barber, come on out here. Good to see you, sir. People ask us, are there going to be any guest stars? Are there going to be any guest stars? Are there going to be guest stars? And so we decided that we could get actually the best guest star. Uh, she's a special guest star. She's part of our family, uh, and she fits, obviously, very perfectly into this world. Simone Missick plays Misty Knight. <laughs> Uh, well, as they like to say, you can't have Misty without Colleen. Uh, you saw her before, Jessica. Uh, see, you woke up the baby. Uh, so, uh, that's about it, right? We don't, is that it? That's just us? No, I think you, you might have forgotten someone important. Really? Uh, oh, somebody important. Yeah, oh. maybe. Uh, somebody who has an iron fist. Y yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> uh, the heartthrob of millions uh, and a very good friend, my friend, Finn Jones. So adorable. All right. I love you! <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, let's kick this off. Uh, Raven, uh, you knew you were going into a big challenge. Uh, you had to, to come up from uh, season one, make sure that season two rocked it. Uh, what, where is your passion? Where is, what's the thing that made you well, go, I want to do Iron Fist? Well, first of all, uh, last year during the Defenders panel, uh, I was sitting out in the crowd. Um, I'm a long time uh, comic book reader, and uh, I like to think of myself as like an Omega level nerd. So I, uh, uh, the excitement uh, was uh, palpable. I think you probably felt it when you first met me. I was a little overexcited, and I still am. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I think this this show is going to be awesome this this season. Um, we're in uh, in New York City. Uh, we're on the streets of New York, and uh, we've got, as you said, incredible, incredible action, and uh, the characters and relationships that you all loved uh, from season one. We've evolve them into new places. It's going to be awesome. And we actually, we made a choice, didn't we? Which was that, you know, Luke's up in Harlem and, and Hell's Kitchen's got, uh, rest in peace, Matt Murdoch, and also, 
Jessica Jones. So we picked a, a, another area where we actually shot in, and, and you can see it very much in the show. Yeah, we were down in, uh, in downtown New York, and we shot a lot in Chinatown, and uh, Danny, uh, yeah, he's out there doing his thing uh, and protecting New York City uh, as Matt Murdock suggested he do. So, so just, you know, I, I'm, I'm kind of wondering, is, is there anybody in the audience that would like to see Danny do his thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're sure about that? Yeah. All right, once again, this is the first time anywhere anyone has seen any of this. Uh, please put your phones and cameras away. Uh, you will, uh, there's a number of things that you'll uh, dig out of this, but what you really dig is uh, Clayton Barber's work and, and how hard Finn Jones worked this season. That was you, man. Like, I, like we had like all this stuff planned. We are like, Okay, so then Finn will walk in and then we'll just get a stunt guy and that'll be the rest of that. That was you running around. Like, what was going on? Yeah, that was, that was, that was, that was me. Um, <laughs> it was really cold that night. I remember being freezing. <laughs> it was like minus 15 degrees Celsius, which is very cold. But I, I got to give credit to Clayton, actually. Uh, Clayton worked all of us so hard and he was meticulous in making sure that it was... All the fights you see this season are all of us fighting. It's all of us. It uh, doubles a little bit, but mainly it's all of us. And that's down to Clayton working us, rehearsing us, and having the belief in us. So thank you, buddy. No, you're welcome, man. <laughs> uh, Clayton, when you came to the show, we, you know, obviously martial arts, there's lots of different kinds of martial arts. There's lots of different kinds of ways that, that, that films are. Obviously, Creed and Black Panther are, are very different kinds of movies, and, and then now this. Um, what, what inspired you? Who inspired you? Well, I mean, I've, I've been really excited about the last 10 years of where action was heading, you know, more rhythmic, more bang, you know, and um, I kind of wanted to see if that would work on a, on a TV show. And so I sort of pulled from inspiration from every single thing internationally and presently, you know, and I kind of created yeah, the... You, you didn't say rhythm or bang. What you said was punk rock. Punk rock. That's exactly right. Exactly. <laughs> so Let's get that clear. <laughs> I wanted to make a, uh, a punk rock kung fu song is what I told Raven. And, uh, and that's what we tried to do. But, and, but secondly, also, when I first came in, like Finn said, I wanted to make sure that they were up for the task because otherwise my, you know, it was useless for what I was trying to do. And they all bought into it and I was very lucky that they did. And in the end, we got a really good result. Uh, Raven, we, we had someone who also guided our ship out of, out of the port. Uh, do we yeah, want, I'd like uh, to tip a yeah, hat to Yeah, uh, the director of our first episode, David Dobkin. Mm -hmm. um, Wait, David Dobkin, who directed Wedding Crashers? Yeah, he also uh, directed the first episode of Into the Badlands and a few of those, which is a little bit of you know, action. Yeah. And knows what he's doing. Uh, and he uh, and Clayton and, uh, and our amazing writers, uh, a bunch of them who are here today, um, it was a real amazing sort of collaboration. And, you know, Jeff, you had some, <laughs> some big ideas thrown in there, too. Wait, you know well, we tried. We, uh, we certainly knew that we wanted to start off with, uh, uh, with Finn kicking the uh, tar out of uh, an armored car. That seemed like a pretty interesting <laughs> way to sort of say, yeah, he's back and, and he's in control of the situation. Um, what I love about this show, and I think you guys do as well, is, is the relationships that go on between them. And, uh, well, I, rather than talk about it, let's show you one of the most uh, fun things about working on Iron Fist 2. It, that's just a date in Chinatown, just like any other one. Uh, Jess, tell us how, you, how this season feels different for you, or, or what, was, what, what did you feel like you had to come to in order, I mean, just doing that, but other stuff? Um, well, we're kind of recalibrating Colleen in that everything, we, you know, we took away everything from her across Iron Fist and Defenders. She lost Bakudo, she lost her, her cult-like religion and her passion, and she's trying to figure out who she is with, without that, but you don't want to make her mad. Um, and she, you see she kind of falls back onto old habits. But the most exciting thing, I think, for Colleen is the introduction of I don't know, this thing called um, Daughters of the Dragon, I guess. Yeah. Uh, seeing these two badasses together, I think the fans are gonna love. Uh, well, you know what? I, again, I, 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 love the, I love the setup. Uh, you know, it's almost like I could go, Dina, roll the clip. <laughs> Simone, you've, uh, you, you've been with us. You've been with us on more than a few sets. A couple. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, in, uh, in Luke Cage, 
Uh, Colleen came to help out Missy when she was having, having a rough day. She, she was pretty yeah. low. Yeah. Um, so what are, you, what are you doing? What's happening? Why are you down here? Are you just going to be all friends with everybody? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Misty just came to kind of hang out, <laughs> be the third wheel on uh, all of these two dates. Yeah. Uh, you, you got actually, you have a problem as a detective and, and, and it brings you into Chinatown. Yeah, you know, with these two lovely defenders of the neighborhood, it gets in my way. <laughs> so I have to come down and straighten it out and then, you know, ass kicking ensues. <laughs> uh, Colleen, talk a little bit about what makes that relationship with, with Misty so special. What, what, I mean, other than you get to work with, with Simone, but uh, Colleen and Misty have sort of an, their own kind of language in their own way. I think that they, that they bring out a side to each other that they do, you don't get to see otherwise. There's a sense of humor here, and a, they have a very similar sense of humor. It's like dry and sarcastic, and they're tough. They're badass, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, I mean, what's not to love? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Simone, you want to add anything to that? Yeah, you know, I think what was great with Luke season two is that Colleen came and literally told Misty to pick herself up off the ground. Uh, and Misty comes to Iron Fist season two where Colleen is kind of in a similar headspace. She's not really sure where she is in the world, where she fits in terms of helping her community. And, you know, Misty's there to tell her to pick herself up. And there's no, there's no BS between these two. It's mm. not like them sitting on the couch like, oh my God, what's going on with you and Danny? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, you're gonna go out, you're gonna do what you gotta do? No, okay, I think you are, all right, cool. And you, you know, that's the best thing about these two women's relationship. And to be quite honest, it's kind of the way we do are in real life. <laughs> uh, Raven, one of the things that, uh, if you had your way, uh, you would do every single Iron Fist story that you could possibly do. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and one of the things that we talked a lot about uh, was uh, the place that he came from. You want to talk a little bit about how you approach that? Well, um, yeah, I mean, as a comics fan, you know, the whole idea of Kunlun is something that uh, really intrigued me. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of sort of pieces of the mythology that I thought would be really interesting to, to play with this season. So uh, in our first conversations, when we first started talking about it, I said, look, we, 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 should, we should be in Kunlun, you know, and we should see a different side of it. You know, instead of the, seeing the snowy peaks of Kunlun, we should be inside and in, in, and in a relationship, you know, uh, that, uh, that Danny had in the past, you know? Hmm. 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 Yeah, a relationship, like a, <laughs> almost like a brother he had, you know, hmm. someone that he was real close with, that they started out as friends, but that things got complicated, and hmm. maybe he showed up in season one, and <clears throat> so they kind of had a little bit of a... So I... I'm, I'm kind of wondering if, uh, well, Dina, roll the clip. Alice, welcome to Marvel. Thank you so much, Jeff Loeb. Uh, tell us, what is it about Mary that uh, tweaked your, your fancy? <laughs> The violence, Jeff. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> this but guy, not, this guy on the end, like uh, Clayton Barber, who's already proven himself to be a bit of a hero of the panel. So I'm gonna take that right back. Um, he helped me sometimes learn to fight. <laughs> um, he taught me that discipline is actually a path to success. And I did want to say this: some of the stuff he said to me which is that you can do it if you do it enough and if you work hard enough. And that's what we did. So I, be I believe that was you must learn to have a relationship with pain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes I cried. Yes, correct. Because I was in hospital <laughs> and he'd be like, you in his Texas accent, you have to change your relationship with pain. Hey, Alice, what about the relationship with the knives? <laughs> yeah, my babies. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. I don't know what I'm encouraging here. <laughs> but ladies, all I'm saying is protect yourselves, my God. <laughs> uh, so 
uh, so far we've seen some pretty surprising things. We've learned that the show premieres when? <laughs> Guys over here still have the deepest voices. I don't understand <laughs> what happened there. Uh, we've also seen, and, and we're delighted by the fact that we learned that we might, we might see some yellow masks that people have been talking to us about. Uh, we, uh, we have learned the secret that is Alice Eve, what she's doing on the show. Uh, and that brings us around to uh, somebody who could not be here because he's in London. Uh, and London. He's uh, sorry? Sorry, London. London. <laughs> London. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, am I being taught how to say it? Is that what's happening there? <laughs> London. <laughs> London. 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 Uh, uh, they anyway. just make fun of me relentlessly. <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep reminding them I actually have a job. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, I think you, you met him last season. Uh, and he comes this season and, uh, well, because he couldn't be here, uh, Sasha made a, a very special thing just for you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, the cast and our very special guests, Raven, Clayton, you guys can stand, <laughs> Simone, Jess, Alice, and the Iron Fist himself, Finn Jones. Thank you very much, San Diego. We will see you on September 7th, only on Netflix. Before you go, click to the right to check out even more of what's happening here at Comic-Con. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to all of our channels.